been a key defensive force so far in this city. McGinnis with the first shot hit his first field goal attempt. From time to time, you'll see flashes on your screen. Don't be concerned. A lot of photographers here with flash balls. McGinnis comes left baseline on Lucas, and he's hit his first two field goals. He has shot but 33% in this series so far. Brent, one thing George cannot try to do is try to do everything too soon. He's hit his first two shots. He's got to build his confidence up, but he can't do it by himself. McGinnis behind the Jones screen. He's three out of three off the top of this game. Two outside shots and one inside. It is 6-4. McGinnis leads Gross. Lucas had it knocked away by McGinnis. Lucas complaining that he was fouled. It will go back to Portland. Let's take a look at the play here. He makes the fake. George goes up a little bit, tries to go by him. He reaches around him. Lucas may have had a legitimate complaint. Couldn't really see for sure from this angle. The Walton switches out on Irving. McGinnis 3-3 three three with his fourth shot. And a miss. Seals him at the right sideline. Inside to McGinnis. George McGinnis has scored four field goals, eight points in the first quarter. He held up trying to draw the foul. McGinnis is back on Lucas. Lucas up over the top of the miss. McGinnis off with the rebound. Gives it to Skibby. It's three on two. Here's McGinnis back now to Jones. Yes, sir, Philadelphia. Finally establishing themselves, getting on the boards, getting the ball up the floor quickly. They are playing the way they must play to win in this series. At both ends. McGinnis waits, spots Jones. Walton goes with him. Jones up outside. Missed it as he shot over the basket that time. McGinnis ran it down. McGinnis back up. Off. He strained it just a bit in game five. And so far, I've seen no evidence that it's tightened up here today. Philadelphia has just attacked him differently than they did in five. McGinnis up over towards it that time. So he had nine. Now give him 11 points. Four field goals and a free throw in that first quarter. Gonna snapping out of that slump. Who had good position. That's a good call by Jake O'Donnell. Bill Walton looking on. McGinnis. Both teams at the top of their game. Philly must win to force the seventh game Wednesday night. McGinnis up outside. McGinnis has tied it. Seven minutes and 30 seconds to go. McGinnis with 13 points is back. Walton and McGinnis came out and stole it. McGinnis defended him. Walton coming back and George laid it in. Once again, Brent, an important minute and 28 seconds. If the Sixers can play good defense, score a couple baskets, they can get this lead back down under 10 points, still be within range. If not, and Portland runs off four or six on them, they could be in big trouble. 11 point difference right now. Irving inside. It's the doctor. Now remember, Collins was held to two points in that first half. Looking basket. Miss on the drive, so the frustration continues. Loose ball, McGinnis back. Comes up and hits it. George McGinnis with his most effective offensive performance so far. 17 points. 12-point lead. Crisis time nearing for the 76ers. Off they come. Here's Bibby. It's three on one. McGinnis comes to the basket strongly with his best offensive showing. 21 points in this sixth game. Final round of the Kemper Open coming up next. Towards it glides the baseline. McGinnis had jumped over on him. Collins runs it down. Philadelphia trailing by 10. Looking for that surge now. McGinnis left perimeter. Makes it eight. A super individual effort by Bob Gross on that play. Very reminiscent of what Bill Walton did back here in second game in Portland. 12-point lead, three. McGinnis at the offensive end had come up and Neal and he squaring off briefly. McGinnis gave it up to Jones. He comes back with a jump hook. Caldwell Jones makes it 88-76. The first year the Blazers have ever been in the playoffs. Here they are. McGinnis came in around behind Lucas with 425. Must give so much credit to Philly. They just will not fold. The tremendous credit to this team. Off they come. Chance to make it four. McGinnis goes in and he drew the foul from Gross. 
Bobby Gross fouled him. Brent, 26 if, points for McGinnis. If Bobby were really thinking a little bit, but of course it's easy to say it's sitting here. He could have run out as you see George coming in right now. He could have run out and fouled him right now. George is not shooting good from the free throw line. He knows he's going to go in there. He's a big, strong guy, so he makes a play where he gives him the basket a chance for the free throw. He should have fouled him before he went there, giving him the free throws. Gross. Hollins up on the shot. McGinnis off to Lloyd Free. Davis is there. Free came up and was fouled. Trailing by eight. Free missed one of his outside specialties. On the double team, 76ers get it back. Bryant was there with Free. Back to Free who got inside. Walton fouled him. Free going to the basket took still another shot. So Lloyd Free missed. He did not pout. He got back on defense. And Ian Bryant went to the double team. There's the play. McGinnis comes in, gets Walton to commit, makes the nice pass. Bill a little bit out of position. As Free goes up, Bill catches him with the body, hits him with the arm. No question about that foul call. One. Leading by five with a minute and a half. They bring the shot clock down. Watch it when it gets inside five. There it is. They need it. Holland spotted it. Off to Walton. Walton comes up. McGinnis comes in behind him. No foul. 108, 103, and 120. 27 seconds down. The magnificent Julius Irving. Goes off now to Joe Bryant. Walton rejects another one. Outside, McGinnis hits a field goal. They're right there, uh, Brent. Good defense. They make a steal. They can get back. Wisely, they call timeout to get the ball in half court. Here we come. So the 76ers not quitting no matter what I or anybody else about to say. McGinnis has erupted in game six for 28. And the doctor, magnificent as usual, has scored 40 points in this game. Brent, I can remember some of those series with the Celtics and the Lakers when an inbounds pass was stolen by Havlicek. He went down, scored, tied the ball game. Looked like the Lakers had it won. Here is Gross, takes the inbound pass, and McGinnis is over there to tie him up. Jump ball in Portland. A jump ball with 16 seconds. George McGinnis, mired in a slump, has given the 76ers one last shot with 16. And a reminder that Kemper open next, but don't go away from this. Suddenly, Gene Shue and the 76ers are breathing. They hang tough. It'll be Gross and McGinnis, 109-107. Philadelphia needing a break off the tap. It goes to free. They can tie it. Philadelphia can tie it. Maurice Lucas, I don't know where he's playing right now. If they take the ball in bounds, George McGinnis is wide open. I don't know what he's doing. Here's McGinnis, Lucas comes out, McGinnis for the tie, it's off, Irving is there, 